Undeniably, there is always a special edge to the atmosphere when these two colossal clubs lock horns. Today is Judgment Day in so many respects. Complete live coverage coming up from the Etihad. It's Manchester City versus Chelsea. And hello from Manchester. It's an ideal day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And leading the line today is Joao Felix. Stones, number 25, Manuel Akanji, number three, Ruben Diaz. Thank you, Etienne Stadium. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Conte. And Havertz. Joao Felix. Rhys James. Havertz. James. Must be. He's blocked it. Now sending it in. Oh, good work by the keeper. De Bruyne. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And City get the throw in. Will he play it in? Rodri. Determined block. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Chilwell. Tremendous ball played through. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Very quick thinking there. Felix. And now, Stones. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Holland. Not a good pass. De Bruyne. And he's clear his lines.
Not the pass he had in mind. Kevin De Bruyne. Akanji has it. Good pass. Gundogan. And now Rodri. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Chilwell. This is Thiago Silva. Joao Felix. And return to Conte. And just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then here at the Etihad Stadium. Kevin De Bruyne, midfield organiser supreme. But is he going to be a bit disappointed with his own contribution? It certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. An alert piece of defending. Joao Felix. Joao Felix. Can he give them the advantage? Mares. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Mares, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Conte. 30 minutes left for play. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, that looked to me like excessive force. What was the referee's reading of it? And it is red. You can't put a challenge in like that and get away with it. Well, he was never going to get away with that. That's a really poor challenge. It was dangerous. He had to go. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well, that's a free kick he'll want to forget all about. Well, just look at the reaction of his teammates. That's a real waste. Rodri. Riyad Mahrez. Happy birthday, Jay, from all of your friends. Holland. Just the challenge that was required. Sterling. 20 minutes to go. Might be able to set up the chance. It comes to absolutely nothing.
De Bruyne. Mares. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Conte. This is Thiago Silva. And Golo Conte. Well, the final whistle soon to be sounded, but not quite yet. It's City with the lead. Stuart, how would you critique what you've seen from them? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. And saved by the keeper. Well, they've decided to make a change. Nathan Ake, coming onto the pitch. Number two, Callum Walker. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 21, Ben Chilwell. And over comes the corner. Well, clattered away. Manuel Akanji. Now Holland. And the advantage is with City. Mares. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest. And the three points go to Manchester City. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game. But they were the better side over the 90 minutes. And they fully deserved their victory today. As a footballer, you can never be quite sure how it's all going to unfold. But suffice it to say, it unfolded positively for Gundogan. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.